every spirit of wizard and wizard, every spirit of buying and selling, why you all be coming for to Lord? We condemn them right away now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every principality, demonic power, satanic kingdom against the children of God this morning, O Lord, Father, as we gather together to hear your word, O Lord, we come against them. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Are we all there? I read. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is heaven, is perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is heaven, is perfect. Our Father in heaven is perfect, and God demands perfection from us. So let's go to the book of Hebrew. Hebrew. Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Let me see. Yes. We are going to read from first. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Let's go to let's read from verse 14. Hebrews chapter 12, from verse 14 to we read down 1 to 16. Then we now have to have seats. Are we all there? I read. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man can see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, hereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one Moses of May met soul is better right. O Lord, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word be blessed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. May you help me this morning, O Lord. Bless my brother, O Lord, Father. Help us all together, Lord. Bless us, O Lord, Father. Bless everyone here, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Let us have our seat. God bless you. Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. God demand perfection from God. But this morning we are going to look into sub subjects. Keep bitterness away from your heart. Keep what? bitterness away from your heart. You see where we, we read that verse 15 of uh, Hebrew 12 verse 15. Say, looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. Lest what? Lest any root of bitterness Springing up, therefore, thereby trouble you, and thereby many be defied. That is when when you have the bitterness in your heart, it will keep on troubling you. It will trouble and it will defy you. That's it. The bitterness bring defilement. It bring what defilement. And at the same time, it hinders prayer. When we allow this root of bitterness to spring up in our heart against anybody, it will hinder prayer. And it can conquer so root of bitterness. It's what you determine that brings unforgiveness. 
that are to keep bitterness away from your heart. So let's, we are going to see the origin of this bitterness before we go further. Let's see. Let me read from the, the origin of the root of bitterness. Where it come from. And uh, it keep on moving in the churches. Even up to this hour. Let us read from the message preached on uh, 61206. Smyrna Church H. Paragraph 75 to 80. You can see it. You can open it. Now listen to him. Unto the angel of the church of Smyrna, and we believe that 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 to be Iranius, okay, Iranian messenger to that church age. Right, this thing is said the first and the last. See, introduce himself. I'm God now of this church age. I don't want to, I don't want no four or five different gods around here. I am God, see, that is which was dead and is alive and is alive. Amen. Now, that is the introduction. Now, Smyrna means bitterness and it comes from the word mild, mild and the first church, the first church, and the first church, I mean, and the, and the first church had lost their first love. The Ephesian church each. My brother said has loved their first church and this church has begun to have a root of bitterness it has a root of bitterness coming up in them because, because that this church, the new church, the big part, the majority of them always was harmony against the Holy Ghost ruling in the church. Because they were warring, they were warring against the ruling of Holy Ghost, leadership for Lord God in the church. And they wanted to rule. That is why the root of bitterness came up from their heart. They wanted to rule themselves. They wanted to rule themselves. They don't want the leadership of Holy Ghost. They wanted to set up priesthood. They wanted to act like the Old Testament people did. They, want, they wanted priests. And they, if the pagan gods back there, where they, where, where they was comforted, before they converted, they were worshipping uh, pagan gods. They are worshipping their idols. And they want to continue the same way when they were being converted. They had priests and so forth of the Jupiter and the priests of Venus and so forth. They, they want to bring him them. They want to bring him them. Same thing to make these men see the whole thing is pagan to begin with. All pagans as those priests and, and things like that. But the church of the living God is for God is foreign to them. The church of the living is foreign to them. Christ is our priest. Our high priest. We have a high priest. A table also that we eat at. Now, this church had begun to spring up a root of bitterness. Why? It was bitter. It was bitter against those who want to continue on with the Holy Ghost. It was bitter against they, they have the root of bitterness against those who want to continue with the ruling of Holy Ghost. That is, we have two, we have two, two kind of people in the church. There are some people that they agree, okay, we agree, let the Holy Ghost keep on ruling. But some people believe that they want to be ruling themselves. It was bitter against those who want to continue on with the Holy Ghost. The love had faded away, and they were trying to swap it to creeds, to creeds and denomination, getting away from the Holy Ghost leadership. Forget away from the Holy Ghost leadership. Think of that. That is why the bitterness was in them. That is why the bitterness was in them. But they cannot abide with sound doctrine, the Bible doctrine. Bitterness was in them. All right. Now, the first church, this, the bitterness started creeping him. That first church, the, that bitterness started creeping him. It's not that just just started today. No. It, start, it, been, it started right away from the first church age. Creeping in, the second church, a little more, you see. And finally, it creeped, it creeped right in because they were making a better church. They thought they were right there. They 
had something dignified. The great Rome Pope, the great Rome, the great Roman people could come in. Why? They had, they had had a pope. They had they, they had great men, cardinals, and so forth. They dressed fine. They got away from all the noise and anything they had. Very quiet. Show show they were so showed they were dying. Mm. Oh, they were dying, and so they got dignified and they made a better body. The first thing up here, they had the whole thing in the big ecclesiastical denomination. The Roman Universal Church, the Roman Catholic Church in the Dark Age, where they then they had, they had digni they had dignitary, they had dignitaries, and they had class. Oh, it was much prettier than when they used to stand out on the street and have to talk in the sheep skin as goat skin and as a goat skin and uh, destitute and short asunder and love at and uh, made fun of and uh, Paul said in Hebrew Hebrews the eleventh chapter why this great big fine big fine rope church with under skirt on and all this other stuff that they wear like that sure it look dignified father reverend doctor father so and so oh my they could put on some re even dog there but you see it was a hybrid yes that's what we need you see the origin of the root of bitterness it started right from the first church age and it keep on going even up to this up to the last church age our prophet told us something about it that we should do away with it we should do what we do away with the root of bitterness. Now, when you see people, when you see somebody that's so bitter against his pastor, so bitter against his brother, so bitter against everybody, my brother and sister, that the, that pre, the Holy Ghost cannot dwell in that such a person. And the, the Bible told us that if anybody is angry without any cause against your brother, then you have murderer. I know murderer can enter the kingdom of God root of bitterness. Keep it away from your heart. Now, how do we keep bitterness away from our heart? Now, listen. So if we, let's, I don't want to waste most of our time this morning. I want to just be brief so that we can finish some time. Let's, I, that's, I have to jot something down so that I can read from here. I, you can join me. Well, see it. Let's go to message reach the priest on 61207. The Pagamia Church Church paragraph 17. So you can see it. You can just follow me and I want to read. So I like, try to do something good. How do we keep bitterness away from our heart? Now listen. Try to do what? Do something good and just. Keep being good. Hold no malice. Hold not. Hold no malice. No grudge. Don't let any bitterness, no matter how bad the person is and how bad they talk about you, don't you never think evil in your heart against them. That's the only way you can keep bitterness away from your heart. If not, it will, a prophet said that it can conquer you. Not it can, it will conquer you. It will defy you. And the moment, in the moment you have that bitterness in your heart against your brother, against anybody, you cannot wish that person good in life. Yes, there, there's a brother. Sorry for that. The brother, we were trying to settle, uh, settle their and, uh, their quarrel, their quarrel, their their misunderstanding. And then what the the, the brother said it really baffled me that very day. That very day, I know the kind of person the brother was. What did he say? He prayed that he's, he's simply his brother, blood brother, because that brother just offended him or something like that. He now prayed that God should, should cut all his hand and leg, just to bring him down. He said, he called himself a believer, believer, Christian, and prayed that God should, if you even, if his brother could kill him. Why? Because of that bitterness. He spoke from out of that bitter, out of that bitter heart. 
So when you have root of bitterness in your heart against anybody, my brother, if you have, if you have sword or gun, you can bring that person down. And if you do that, if you do that, you are a murderer. You are what? You are a murderer. Try to do something good and just keep being good. Hold no malice, no grudge, no malice. Christians don't keep malice. Either in the church or outside, or the one believer. No. Wherever you find yourself, don't keep malice. Grudge. Don't let any bitterness, no matter how bad the person is and how they have talked about you, don't you never think evil in your heart against them. Because right there, the devil will set right in, walk up something right there. Just keep it all covered up with godly love. Keep it all covered up with all godly love. Confess. Confession. And make it right. And do good to those who do evil to you. If you only do good to those who do good to you, why Jesus said, don't the publican the same? You the same? Yes? See? The sinners, anybody can be good to those that is good to them. But be good to those who are not good to you. Be good to them, those who are not good to you. Do something for those that will not do nothing for you. Those that cannot even do anything for you. Do something good for them. No, sir, this is this my colleague. No! Now, this, 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 this rich uh, people group, this uh, poor people group, no! Do good to, good to them. That those people that cannot even do anything to, for you. Start doing good to them. That is what we call love. Anybody can be good to, okay, sinner, sinners, anybody can be good to those that is good to them. But be good to those who are not good to you. Do something for those that will not do nothing for you. Speak a good word for the man that will speak evil against you. And that, that's the way to keep all the, all the, that's the way to do what? To keep all the bitterness out of your heart. That is the way to keep bitterness out of your heart, out of your way, out of your soul. And you are always in love with everybody then, as long as you stay in love. Then, as long as you are in love, you are always love in love with everybody. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we go for that, let's, 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 let's go to let's do something. Let's, do, let's go to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Yes, let it from verse 26 to 32. Ephesians chapter 4, 26 to 32. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Be ye angry and sin not. That's a way be angry and not sin. Yes. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. If there's anything going on, maybe be your brother, you set it immediately. You don't waste time. Because when you waste time, that won't keep on bringing root of bitterness. You say, mm, look at me. This man, what he did. Instead of going and meet him and say to it immediately, and you allow the sun to go down on that, it will bring root of bitterness. And it will defy you. It will conquer you. It will conquer your soul. Let not the sun go down upon your rod. Neither give, give place to the devil. Neither give what? Place to the devil. Because if you allow the sun to go down upon the iron, you've given, you have given space, uh, its place for the devil already. And the devil is the author of bitterness. It's author of bitterness. Let 
Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needed. Let no corruption, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying that he may minister grace unto the hearers. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good. Don't, you are a Christian. We don't, we don't do that. That was a time. Was it not last week? Sorry. Somebody just called me. Immediately just called me. He started raining courses on me. I, I don't know the person. But according to the total, uh, color tone, the person is uh, Amsa uh, Abdul, uh, Abdul Azan. Uh, uh, started raining courses. A very strong causes. I said, what happened? I don't know this guy. And I decided to use my second number. And I called him. I said, what is going on? What is wrong with you? Why are you really, do you know the person you are running cause? He said, eh, eh, somebody borrowed money on uh, social media and it's used your name. It's used your number as a uh, guarantor. Uh -uh. <laughs> I laughed. I said, is that what you are running causes? I said, to that person, he mentioned the name of the person. He said, so, 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 person, okay. That's what I did the And I told him, I said, look here, I am innocent. All, the, all these courses will be upon you. I told him, you now see, now listen, say, sorry. He said, because the, the person uh, is supposed to have paid that loan, but he did not pick the call. He have been doing, I said, no, everybody can, they can go to social media and pick any number. You selected this number, you picked this number from the, from the contact, from the contact. It, maybe it doesn't, so later when we drop, and I called the person, the person said it, it was true, that I borrowed money, but he did not use me as his guarantor. <laughs> so that is why we said to the, so now I started begging me, even immediately I called my wife, I said, this is what I saw, this is what I said, uh -uh. he said, I should give me the, I know what she can do, I said, no, don't worry. I said, Claire, give me the number of that person. I said, don't worry. So that's why the person just apologized later. So that's it. So now I said, ah, which kind of person are you? I want to know you, Muslim. Because the way it's raining courses, if I to put it back to him like that, fire to fire, teeth for teeth. <laughs> but me, I've rejected it. And the courses is not mine. You cannot place a cost on the child of God and go scot free. It will not even work. If truly you are a child of God, it will not work. Let's go on. And grieve not the Holy Spirit. And then that I did not even allow that to bring to spring up a little bit of bitterness from. No, no, no. I was cool. I not even affect I allowed to affect me at all. That is Christian life. And grieve not the Holy Spirit. Now, okay. Yes. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. It will be put away from us. All malice, bitterness, wrath, backbiting, unforgiveness. We should do away with them. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. As Christ has forgiven us, we must forgive one another. We must forgive our brothers. We must forgive our sister. Not only your brother, not only our brother, even outsider. You must do that. We must forgive them. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, let's go to another place. At time, send another message. Then the uh, message please on 640403. Sorry, I, put, I forgot to put the title. But we can go, we can put it. Then the root of bitterness sometimes spoils, spoil, sometimes spoils the thing that God is trying to do. If God had planned to do something for you, that's, that's bitterness. 
that root of bitterness in your heart. We spoil it. You will not allow it to come. Maybe you have been praying pray for something all this while. The moment you allow that bitterness to enter your heart, then it will spoil everything. So let's see. Let's read 640403, paragraph 50. I forgot to put the title. Sorry. Root of bitterness sometimes spoil the thing that God is trying to do. And we know that every seed or promise of God will bring forth of its kind. Every seed, every promise will bring forth of its kind. What its promise? That what God what its promise and every seed will bring out of its kind. Then 640403, paragraph 50. If it strikes the right ground, the ground that is prepared ready, all the rocks has been thrown out and the root and the bitterness and the selfishness and the indifference, jealous, has all been grubbed out. That root of bitterness that springs up that sometimes that sometimes so spoiled the thing that God is trying to do. That's 640403 paragraph 50. It will spoil it. All the good things that God has for you, if you allow that root of bitterness to dominate, we allow it to dominate our soul, to dominate our heart. At a time, it's in that prayer. It's in that prayer. I will not know. We pray, God, that that won't be among us. That that will not God that will not be among us. We not allow that rule of bitterness to dominate our life, so that it will if not allow God to continue doing these good things that have that started in our life, especially in this local assembly. We pray that that won't be among us, yeah, but that the good word will find good ground in this. That all this word we have been hearing, we have been listening to. We have been reading the word of God, the message you have been reading, that you find a very good ground, so that at the end of the day, it will germinate and then it will bring forth the fruit of the spirit. What are those fruits of spirit? Forgiveness, kindness, forbearance. There are many. So it will allow, if you allow, if you don't allow that root of bitterness to spring up from our heart. Then the, that, it, that the, the Holy Spirit will be in charge. The Holy Ghost will continue being the leader, be, be leading the church, and that is what we want. God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's go to another place. I'm looking at the time. Then sixty one two zero six. This many church age, paragraph 53. Paragraph 53. 6-0-1-2-0-6. This many church age, paragraph 53. Then the only thing, the matter, get all this little difference away from you. Little isms. Little what? Ism. And little funny feelings around you. For brethren. And things like that. That See, this brother, I don't think he, the Lord love me. No love again. See the way he's, uh, he's treating me. See the way he's doing that. Who told you? Who told you that that brother did not love me? If there's anything going on, it's going on wrong, we have to stand our ground. We need to stand our ground. We don't compromise. Love is corrective. Love is corrective. Our prophet, our, our prophet told us of a, uh, of, a, uh, of a story that if you see your child, Standing on the highway, on the highway, where all these crazy drivers, they are flying every day, and you are saying, mm, you know, I love you, you know, don't do that, don't go there. A brother said you lose that child. That means you don't love him. But if you love him, you jack him, you hold him, you jack him, you give him plan, you slap him. Don't ever come here again. This is dangerous for you. That is love. That is love. So when you now have a uh, 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 strange feeling, then look at it. Uh, no. no. Love is corrective. 
God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And things like that. Okay, let me start it. The only thing, the matter, get all this little difference away from you. All this little different, all this bad feeling, all this uh, uh, bitterness, everything. Get away from you, from your heart, so that not hinder your prayer. And little funny feelings around you for brethren and things like that. Shake it away. Don't let, don't let no root of bitterness ever get into your soul. Because if you get it, we can't carry you. It will destroy your Christian experience. It will do that. Don't let no root of bitterness ever get into your soul. If you do, it will conquer you. That's the problem. Open it and read. You can get it down. Where well, you have this thing. Open it. I want us to be reading along together. It will do that. It will do what? It will conquer you. Right? Keep love. I don't care how much people hate you. You love them anyhow. You love them anyhow. It will do what? It will conquer you. It will destroy your life. It will destroy your, your soul. It will destroy your prayer life. Even your business. Anything you are doing. My brother and sister, let me tell you. This, this root of it can bring heart attack if you don't know. It can bring, bring heart attack. High blood prayer. Where you keep on just putting, putting, putting your mind. Oh, this art. No, this art. There are some other, there are something that you cannot keep in this art. If you put all the prayer on this art, it will develop high blood prayer. And it can kill. Why are we allowing the root of bitterness in our soul, in our hearts? Why? For what? It will conquer you, right? Keep love. I don't care how much people hate you. You love them anyhow. If you can't do that, but my friends say, if you cannot do that, you have not yet sealed with the Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost yet. No Holy Ghost yet. When you are so bitter with anybody you see, you are, you are so bitter with your pastor, bitter with your brethren, bitter with the uh, elders, bitter with uh, sick, everybody. Why? Because the truth is misspoken. So that means you have not yet started. Then that, I don't see. You have, haven't been seen with Holy Ghost. Then you aren't see. You got a loose place yet. My brother, you got a loose place yet. So come on. Come on back. My brother, come on back and get that seal up. Right good with the blood of Christ. Get that seal with what? With the blood of Christ. It will cleanse you from all root of bitterness. Yes, sir. It is only blood of Christ that cleanses you. And then God has done it. He sent down his only begotten son. See the love. Only begotten son. To come and do what for us? To come and die for us. To come and die for our sin. To take all the root of bitterness away from us. And you don't even, you are not satisfied yet with that. You see how that root of bitterness is your heart. God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus Christ. Get that seal up. Right good with the blood of, of Christ. It will cleanse you from all root of bitterness. Yes, sir. It will do what? Clean you. Lord, let's go to another place. So the Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Let's see. Paragraph. Okay, I see have some minutes more. So I'll be rounding up so quick now. Sixty-three zero seven two eight. But before then, let's 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 see. Let's read from the Hebrew chapter two, part three, fifty-seven zero eight two eight, paragraph two four six to two four seven. I did not write that one down. Let me quickly find it. You see it, you can open it. I want us to read it along fifty-seven. Keep bitterness away from your heart. It's for everybody. It's for everyone. For everyone. Don't say this man. Uh, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, are you? Are you righteous enough? Are uh, you claim to be? No. The word of God is when it's coming for. It's for everybody. It's for us. That is why we don't need to be pampering ourselves. We need to tell ourselves the whole truth. If we want to go to the rapture. 
0808 Hebrew chapter 2 part 3 paragraph 246 paragraph 246 246 The Pentecostal said they spoke in tongues they got it that is all right if you spoke in tongues and got it all right but you could speak in tongue and still not have it still not have the holy spirit so you see after all it is the experience of passing from death to life when all the old things died and old things become new christ become to reign the old thing drop away the old root of carnality the old root of carnality you know how to dig a root out you know how to dig a root out we used to take a grubbing hole and just get it down at it and dig it till there wasn't a speck left in it and they said if there be if there be any root if there be root of bitterness spring up into you grub her out if there's any root of bitterness springing up from your heart, I would say, drop it out. Root it out. Take it away from your heart completely. That is right. And that is, and that is, the, and that is what the Holy Spirit does. Root out all the roots. Dig them out. Pile it up. Burn them. Get rid of them. You get a good crop. Then, if you do that, if you want to plant, you want to plant on a deep farm, before we do, we have to make rich. We reach, we plant uh, we all the stone, everything. We take it out, everything that can obstruct your plant over there, the seed. You take it out, there you now plant. Then that seed seed now germinates. But we don't do that. That seed will not germinate. It will die there. Get rid of them. Get a good crop. Then, if you do that, if you do that, now Paul, Paul, no. Okay, that is where that's when I want to. Let you see, if there be any root of bitterness spring up into you, grow out. That is right, and that is the and that is what the Holy Spirit does. Root out all the roots, dig them out, pile it up, burn them, get rid of them. Then you get a good crop. Then, if you do that, if you do that, then you get a group, a what? A good crop. Then, God bless you, my brother and sister. I want us to read a place in the word of God before we go further. I'll soon be rounding up. Yes. Well, let, let me just let read this one finally. Let read this. Then, 630728. Christ is the mystery of God revealed. Paragraph 87, 84 to 87. 63. Keep away the root of bitterness from your heart. Keep root of bitterness away from your heart. If not, it will conquer you. It can hinder your prayer. Then 60, 63, 07. Zero seven two eight zero seven two eight paragraph eighty four Christ the mystery of God in Christ okay God reveal paragraph eighty four paragraph eighty four paragraph eighty four bitterness away from your heart. How do you do that? By allowing the fruit of the spirit to come into your soul. Paragraph 84. And now, you've got tape on that. You've got tape on what we believe. You've got tape on discipline in the church. How we behave ourselves in the church of the God, of the church of God. How we come, how we got to 
come here together and sit together in heavenly places. Anytime we are here, we sit together. We sit in heavenly places. Don't stay, don't stay home. If God is in your heart, you can't hardly wait for them, for them doors to open out or to open out yonder to get in here to fellowship with your brothers. If you don't, if you don't feel that way, then I tell you, it is time you got praying. It is time for you that you buckle up your bed. You buckle up and keep on praying because we are in the last days. We are in the last day. Where the Bible, where the, where the, okay, where the Bible, or where the Bible exhorted us to much more as we see that day, that day approaching. I mean, sorry, much more as we see that, that day approaching to love one another with Christian love and divine love to assemble as ourselves together in heavenly places and cry Jesus and love one another. This is this we, this we all man know you are my disciple. When you have love for one another, that is right. Stay right together. If brother, if the brother you think he is a little wrong or a sister, say Lord, now let, okay, say Lord, Lord, don't let me ever, don't let me ever have the root of bitterness spring up. If you say, oh, brother, don't let, let the fruit, fruit of, root of bitterness spring up. Because if you do that, you can't carry you. It will destroy your life. Because it will affect you. It will affect him. I will take the, and you take the Christ right out of my life. If you do that, it will affect you. It, will, it can even take Christ right out of your life. If you allow that root of bitterness to stay in your heart, in your soul, against anybody, that, that, that poison acid of malice, our prophet, our prophet call it poison, poison acid of malice and jealous and hatred that will just take the Holy Spirit right away from you. It will ruin him from the tabernacle here. Yeah, it can ruin anybody from any church. The moment they allow that root of bitterness to come up, it can ruin the whole church. I probably say it will not happen here. It will not allow that to happen here in Jesus' name. It will kill the spirit of God or drive it away from that from here or out your pastor. Pastor will not like it. When you see when you drive the spirit of God away, even not only pastor, the spiritual minded people will not like it. The spiritual minded Christian will not like it. When you now allow the you now allow the people to be to, to be ruling, to be the leaders, to be leaders in the in, in, in place of Holy Ghost. No. It will keep the spirit of God or drive it away from there. Out your past, and it will out your pastor. Your pastor will not like it. Not only pastor. No one will like it. It will do anything, it will do everything. See, don't do that. A prophet say what? It will do what? It will do anything. Don't do that. Don't allow the, 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 the root of bitterness to come up from your heart, from your soul, against anybody. You just work that much close together. Come together. No clan, no clannish. Come together. I'm of the Paul. I'm the Apollo. No. All the backbiting at times is spoiled things. It is spoiled. At times when you get home, you see what this so, 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 so. At times you can't. See, my brother and sister, we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. And we know what we'll be discussing in the presence of our, these children. Let me tell you. If you are saying any bad thing in the presence of this, your, your children, you are, you are planting poison in them. We are planting poison in them. Because when, when they see that person, they look, hmm, they say, hey, look at the, the person that my dad or mom told me about. What, what happened? You are planting bitterness in that child. Or maybe your children just come to you. See, daddy, see what this also told me. See what, what? Send him back to him or her. Send him back. Go and make it right. I don't want to hear. But now listen, you put in your soul. You now say, Do, look at you, look at you. You are spelling that, that you are spelling those children. Let me tell you. God will help us. God will give us grace to do that in the name of Jesus.
to get away every root of bitterness for our soul. Let the paragraph 18. You just wax that much together closer. Draw up, draw up the, take the buckle as the brother testified a minister here the other night about having a buckle. See, it is if it's okay. Let's, let's finally, let's go to book of James. Sorry, I'm running off. Let's go to book of James. When we get to, we can read it. When we get to, we can read it. Let me, James chapter 5. When we get to, we can read it. It's very important. Book of James chapter 5. Okay. So when we get home, read it. My time is up. Don't let me. Chapter, James chapter 5, verse 7 to 9. Verse 7 to 9. Get it down. When we get home, let us read it. So let us be. I will bless it. God bless Okay. Lord, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband man waited for the precious fruit of the earth, as, as long as okay, as long patient for it, as long patient for it, until he received the early and latter rain. Go on. Be ye also patient. Stabilize your heart for the coming of the Lord. Draw the Lord. We should stabilize our heart. For the coming of that law is at hand. We don't allow the root of bitterness to grow up, to spring up from that the same heart that we should stabilize for the coming of that law. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the just standing before the door. May the Lord a blessing to his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us be on our feet. I will bless again, my brother and sister. Let us be on our sorry for I've taken five minutes. Both my time, sorry. Then we requested uh, our Papa to, to pray for us. Come to the end of this. Keep away from the bitterness. God will help us. Keep bitterness away from your heart. Let us try as much as possible. Our prophecy that it will conquer, it can conquer. Yes. When you when you have that spirit of bitterness, fruit of bitterness, it will conquer. It will hinder your prayer. It will not allow the leaders of Louisville in your life, even the family. It can even affect the family. When you see wife being bitter to the husband, husband being bitter to the wife, that home, I'm probably, that one is not much more. It's not home. So let us try as much as possible to keep away from the root of bitterness. And God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray for all God. Thank you. Amen. 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 Oh, to keep away the root of bitterness, keep away bitterness from my heart. Amen. And Lord, that's what bring cancer, bring diseases, bring afflictions. Amen. Bring demonic oppression. But may you help us, Lord, to need to be in love. Amen. One another, Lord. Amen. That's the thing can keep away bitterness. Amen. Oh Lord, the hand cannot say, I don't like you, my head. I don't like my eyes. Yes. Then I will smite. I will. Oh, we cannot uh, be fighting one another, Lord. Amen. And expect to move forward. Mm. And the Holy Spirit will tender hearts, O Lord, with divine love. Amen. Make us to overcome that evil spirit. Amen. Of bitterness. Amen. Of malice. Amen. Of against Amen. The Lord. We pray that you help us, Lord. Oh Lord. That's the work of the enemy. Yes. The enemy has done this. I say, Lord, may you help us to overcome the evil one. Amen. To stay focused on the truth of your word. Oh, and to be what you want us to be. Amen. Being in love. Thank you, my Father. My Thank Lord. you, Lord. Help our brother use this morning. Amen. Renew his strength, O oh Lord. Amen. Give him more grace to continue to function. Amen. In that office, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, as we continue this morning, we pray that bring the people also, Lord. Help us the remaining part of the service, the song service. May you come Amen. help us. Bless us, Lord. Amen. Take uh, the spirit of heaviness away from us. Amen. Put the spirit of the unction of worship. Amen. Our praise and thanksgiving, O oh Lord, upon us, Lord. Amen. We worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. When the pastor comes for the message, may you anoint him, Lord. Amen. On unction. Amen. We radically declare your word. Amen. The power of the Holy Spirit, oh Lord. Amen. We bring out this, this admission of blood, just quiet. Amen. And we count all the evil arrows, evil powers, 
I bring bitterness around around us, Lord. Mm. We take them captive. Amen. Destroy their powers. Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Take full and perfect control this morning, Lord. Amen. Have your way this morning, Lord, my Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen.